You know, there's been a lot of questions asked uh, around lately, what's wrong with Eddie Gilbert, and I appreciate this time to explain it to you. You know, Tommy Rich and myself, we're a top-notch tag team, and uh, here lately I've been kind of hurt. But now I really got to say that, that I'm really, there's anger and I'm very mad for a simple reason. I'd like to explain it to you. And that reason being is that, you know, a lot of times when you're a tag team, you discuss your strategy, you sit back in the dressing room, and you, and you get ready to go out there in the ring and, and do your best. And Tommy and I would sit back in the dressing room, and he'd tell me, he'd say, Eddie, when we get out there now, I want you to get out there in that ring, and I want you to give it all you got because, boy, you're young, you're full of vigor and vim, you can do, all, you can do it all. And I want you to get out there, wear the guys down, soften them up, give me that tag, and I'll come in and I'll win that match. Well, you know, that, that seemed pretty good, but, you know, all the time, uh, finally, I guess I kind of got smartened up and realized that he was actually using me and then going around telling everybody that, oh, I did it again, I won the match, and uh, calling the rest of the magazines and the newspapers and everybody, and uh, I think I have a little proof of that if I could show that. His strategy worked. He went on, he got the international title match. But you know, then he even turned his back on me. And that was something I never expected Tommy to do. But the really thing that really got down deep in my heart was that instead of asking me, his partner, the guy that really went in the ring and, and, and worked my rear end off for him and, and really helped him as much as I could and thought I was his close friend and best friend, he asked Tojo Yamamoto to go out to the ring to be his manager and wound up winning the international heavyweight title. Oh, Yamamoto! Putting his nickels worth in. Here comes Ito, Rich. Back to his feet. Fire salt right in the eyes of Ito. Covers him with a flying press. One, two. Three, and we have a new champion. Now the greed begins to show in Tommy Rich, as you can already tell. Instead, you know, like, for instance, let, let me give you a real good for instance. We used to ride up and down the roads together, and instead of starting talking about maybe going back after the tag team titles after he done won the international title, all I kept hearing was, oh, man, if I could get a shot at the Southern Heavyweight title, the Southern Heavyweight title, and I'd sit over there and, I got to be honest with you, too, most of the time I was driving the car. And and he'd look over at me and, and talk about the Southern Heavyweight title. And I kept thinking to myself, well, shouldn't I have a chance at the Southern Heavyweight title? I mean, he's already the international champion. Why shouldn't I get a chance at the Southern Heavyweight Championship? Well, it never came about. He was the international heavyweight champion. He got his shot at the Southern Heavyweight Championship. And the greed really started showing because he won it. And then, boy, he was Mr. Big Shot. We may have a new double champ. That's it. 11.46. Tommy Rich wins the Southern Heavyweight title. Well, now Mr. Big Shot has both titles, the Southern Heavyweight Championship and the International Heavyweight Championship. Well, as everybody knows, when you're a champion, you got to face all the top contenders. And at this point, it was King Kong Bundy. And you know, Tommy didn't need me anymore as his tag team partner. He didn't need me as his manager like he did Tojo Yamamoto. But he did find a very, very special position for me as special referee because he knew that he would have his hands full with King Kong Bundy. Him up. This could be it. That's it. Ten minutes, 21 seconds. The Southern Heavyweight title has a new owner in King Kong Bundy. Bundy, that is the chain. Tommy Rich hollering at Eddie, and now he's hot at Eddie. 
Eddie because Eddie didn't call the chain and Eddie Gilbert leaving the ring. You know, and then after the match was over with, Tommy grabbed my arm and he looked at me and he says, Eddie, you can't do that. You can't count me out. And there once again, Tommy was trying to use me, trying to use my integrity. Let me say something, Tommy. I'm not going to be used by you anymore. Not in tag matches. And speaking of tag matches, I'll certainly never be your tag team partner again. Now, one thing I want to say to you. The only contact ever that I want to make with you again is in the ring. Because I want to prove to you and to any of these fans out here that doubt my word that I am a better man than you. And brother, I can back it up. And that's a promise to you and the wrestling world anytime and any place.